It's Wednesday morning, Glatz. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. While we have your attention, here are some reverse power ticket shout-outs for our teachers. Hi, my name is Kieran Doolittle, and my reverse power ticket goes to Mr. Storer. I would like to thank him for helping me with math and talking to me after school. Thanks, Mr. Storer. Hi, my name is Jared Grace, and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Dykus. She helps me every day when I'm down and whenever I need help. Hi, my name is Hannah Hall, and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Owen. She's always positive, has a smile on her face, and she makes our class so much fun. Thank you, Miss Owen. Hi, my name is Jeremiah Jones, and my reverse power ticket goes out to Mrs. Veroni. She's always nice, makes learning fun, and whenever you walk into her class, she has a smile on her face. Thanks, Miss Veroni. Students, pick up reverse power cards at the attendant's office and drop them off, and we can do the rest. Glads, your books are only $55 in the business office for a few more weeks. Prices will go up in December. And seniors, listen up. The final deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook is this Friday if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff in room 104 as soon as possible. With October already halfway over, deadlines are coming quickly. And we also have several colleges visiting us this month. Here is the lineup. Pikes Peak Community College is visiting today, October 18th, and the month of October will close out with a visit from CU Denver on Tuesday, October 31st. November visits start on Thursday, November 2nd with Luther College, and check this out, the Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy will be here on November 8th during lunch in the Lower Commons, and they're setting up a braid bar, so stop by to get uh, info on the school and get your hair done too. November visits wrap up with Adam State on Thursday, November 16th. One last Counseling Center announcement for seniors. If you are taking the National ACT this year, be sure to stop by the Counseling Center for your free prep booklet from Miss Abeta. And as always, swing by the counseling center to pick up your hall passes for college visits. Now, here's Jeremiah Jones with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones with your Gladiator Sports Update. If you need a sports fix, this Thursday is your night. We have several athletic events happening tomorrow, and this week really proves there is something for everyone. Want to experience some great music tomorrow night? The Fall Choir Concert starts at 7 p.m. in the auditorium, and it's free. See you there. The Glads are back. Our Gladiator football team took on the Air Academy Cadets on Friday night and squeaked out the win in a fourth quarter nail biter. The boys are back at it this coming Thursday night against Pueblo Centennial at Dutch Clark Stadium. Head south to cheer on the Glads at 7 p.m. In soccer news, after a long week of rest, the boys played the Harrison Panthers yesterday and brought home the win. The boys travel to Canyon City tomorrow for their last regular season game. It starts at 4.30 at Canyon City High School. Our Lady Glads volleyball team took on the Sierra Stylins last Thursday and brought home another W for their record. The ladies play at home tomorrow night against the Woodland Park Panthers at 6 p.m. Come cheer on the ladies at home. The cross country team is headed to Durango this afternoon for regionals. The teams have had some great times, so we expect to hear positive news as they run on to state. In forensics news, over the weekend, the forensics team hosted and competed in season's first tournament. Widefield had a strong showing with 10 out of 11 competitors placing in their respective events. The highlight was our very own anchor, Corinne McAfee, and her partner, Esmeralda Amada, who placed first in duo. Finally, ladies, if you are interested in joining this year's swim and dive team, Mrs. Wickberg will be holding an informational meeting today at lunch in room 110. Come learn about the program and get ready to start making waves on November 10th. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to you, Corinne and Kieran. Thanks, Jeremiah. Okay, Glads, the mattress, mattresses are coming. The mattresses are coming. This Saturday, October 21st, the small gym will be filled with mattresses of all sizes, styles, and price range for purchases. The sale will run from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come check it out. Remember, all proceeds from this sale benefit the Widefield High School Theater Program. Gladiator pop sockets are a thing, and NHS wants to help you get one. They're only $10, and it's a great way to show your spirit, spruce up your phone, and help NHS raise some money. See Miss HK in the library to get yours today. If you want to show your spirit in a different way, check out the school store. 
DECA and FBLA will be selling Gladiator gear before and after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. They have long sleeve shirts, short sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, and baseball hats at a very reasonable price. And now, here are your club and activity updates for Wednesday. The 180 Club meets in room 5 at lunch with Mr. Sickmiller. DECA and FBLA also meets in the Lunch and Lab 159. For those of you who enjoy tabletop games, you'll be meeting in room 160 from 3 to 5 p.m. Thursday meetings include Freshman, Junior, and Senior Councils at lunch. Freshman Council meets in room 2. Junior Council meets in room 166, while the Senior Council currently meets in room 101. Book Club also meets every other Thursday at lunch in the library in the magazine room. Their next meeting will be next Thursday. Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 on Tuesday and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Link Crew meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory in rooms 123, 124, or 201. As always, Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID, like this one, to stay in play or to work on homework. And just a few housekeeping notes before we go. Juniors and seniors, if you received an invitation from NHS, congratulations! Your application must be submitted by today. If you did not receive an invitation but think you meet the criteria, which includes a GPA of 3.4 or higher, good attendance, and a full schedule, please see Ms. HK in the library to clear any miscalculations. The library is having a scary book contest for weekly prizes. How do you play? It's simple. Check out a book this month. Each book earns you an entry for prizes. Don't be scared. Check out a book today. And finally, teachers, want a chance to win a cool tie-dye shirt? The Environmental Club is giving away a t-shirt to the teacher who has the grooviest recycle box. To enter the contest, first, decorate your recycle box. Next, snap a picture of it. And finally, send your photo as an attachment to Mr. Cummings v. email. The deadline is this Friday. Get your snaps in and win. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Kareem McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle. And remember, we have a late start tomorrow. Have a great week.